In Animals with Cameras, it's about the viewer being right there with the animal. We do enter their world. We were able to put a camera on these animals without interfering with their behavior. Many of the animals didn't even know they had the cameras on. That's really cool. Instantly, <laughs> you get a real chimp point of view. To make a series like this just five years ago wouldn't have been possible. It's astounding that something as small as this can get moving images. For a wildlife filmmaker, there is always that point. That animal disappears and the story ends, whereas with animals and cameras, the story continues. Do you just see wonderful, intimate behaviors and personalities? Are you going to wear a camera? It was very much a partnership between the program makers, the scientists, and the animals. It was a very diverse team. Having such a long-term project, the meerkats end up so used to us. Gordon was able to insert himself into the scene, get to know the animals, put the equipment on them. There were so many challenges. It was a lot harder than I ever imagined. The key thing for this camera is just to not interfere with any of our senses. A lot of it is studying how they move. It's high-risk strategy, just putting something that has so much thought and expense has gone into, and you're giving it to a wild animal. But there's no way that'll be strong enough, because a big wild male will just do that straight away. There was no way of knowing whether or not we were getting good footage. Fantastic. That's amazing. It really is excellent footage. Every single animal we've been able to see it in a completely new way. Within the burrow, you saw these newborn meerkats, and you couldn't have gotten that otherwise. The cheetahs filmed it themselves. We saw what they were seeing. Such an oh, intimate moment. Beautiful. Certainly is amazing. It's novel, but really we did want to find out things that will help scientists, things that will help those animals in a changing world.